As children, some of us believe that life will go on forever, that sickness and illness will never affect the people that we hold dear. Then reality hits, and one of our family members becomes extremely ill. It's difficult to say that we are actually prepared for something like this, but how many of you know of someone who has suffered a stroke? There are actually three different types of strokes, but today we are going to be discussing ischemic strokes. My father suffered a stroke about four months ago, and he has gone through long hours of rehabilitation from ICO, neurological, telemetry, and is now in a skilled nursing facility temporarily. To understand ischemic strokes, we will discuss statistics, symptoms, and rehabilitation. People may not realize the importance of learning everything there is to know about ischemic strokes. We will first review statistics and how it affects the United States. The primary care reports say that strokes are a common problem, and nearly 800 people suffer from strokes annually in the United States. The Census Bureau did say that San Antonio has more than a million people. Compare that number with the number of people who have strokes, and that is more than half the population. The Journal of Atrial Fibrillation stated that 85 to 95% are ischemic strokes. Just think about it. Close to 95% of all strokes are caused by blood clots. The JFib also stated that it has been a disease of aging population. So the majority of the patients over the age of 65 suffer ischemic strokes, and this number increases annually by 9 million. It's amazing how many people are actually affected by strokes in the U.S. So now we can talk about symptoms. Symptoms don't necessarily show their face to their victims. According to the Harvard's Men Health Magazine, when a clot blocks the artery feeding the brain, this is what causes ischemic strokes. This is actually different than strokes that are caused by hemorrhage, which is actual bleeding in the brain. For every minute of prolonged ischemia, without treatment, 1.9 million neurons are lost. And this was also provided by the primary care reports. So every second counts, but there are warning signs. Some of the warning signs include dizziness, loss of balance, and sudden and severe headaches. This was provided by Harvard's Men's Health Magazine. Uh, Dr. Sony, who is a neurologist at Harvard, said that this is not something that you can take lightly. It can leave you severely disabled, and you won't be the same person that you were. Finally, we can discuss the rehabilitation process. Rehab is very difficult for the family and patient, so it is very important to request any information that you can on how this process is going to work. The primary care report states that up to 30% of patients who do survive a stroke will require institutional care. Now, this may be scary for the patient and the family, um, so guidance, again, from the hospital is very helpful. There are different types of disabilities that can be an effect of a stroke, but some of them include physical, cognitive, and psychosocial. And the stroke may require care for a long period of time, but this doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be a permanent stay. The initial goals of therapy and rehabilitation are to prevent and treat some of these items here above, um, but a few will be medical problems, uh, maximizing functional independence and enhancing, enhancing quality of life. The, this information was required by the article of Geriatrics Magazine. So pretty much in a nutshell, the goal of rehabilitation is to get the patient back into the community as quickly as possible so that they can get on with their life. But it is important for the patient and the family to have a positive attitude. A patient, the, the patient can suffer life-changing events, but you have to remember also that the patient cannot be handled similar. Each patient is gonna have different side effects, so they need to be handled case by case. Strokes can affect a coworker, a friend, and even a parent. 
The information that I provided regarding statistics, symptoms, and rehabilitation can help to anybody who's in need. At the beginning of my presentation, I did ask how many of you were affected by strokes, and it's amazing to see how many of us are actually touched by stroke patients. Ischemic strokes are life-threatening and life-changing, so any additional resources that you can find information just may save a life. Does anybody have any questions? Thank you very much for your time.